this is a little bit of an unusual thing. Those of you who have seen me perform may have heard this before. It uh, is a group participation uh, thing, so I'll be having you uh, join me on it. But before I do, I just want to explain what it is. And basically, you're all familiar with the Scottish bagpipes. And what you may not know is that the real piping that real pipers think of as the real piping is something called pibracht, which just means piping, actually. But what it refers to particularly is not the stuff that they play when they're marching down the street with the drummers and the everything. It's strictly played solo. And uh, it's what's kind of considered the classical piping. Most of it was composed somewhere between uh, three and 500 years ago. And it's very slow, meditative, and very, very stark. It's very, very distilled, and it generally uh, starts with a very, very slow melody that revolves around just a few key notes and their relationship to the drone. It's very um, hair-raising. And uh, it goes uh, from there through a series of increasingly complex uh, variations which are applied to that basic melody or ground, they call it, or the erlar in, in the Gaelic. And um, this goes on for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and it gets more and more insistent, more and more rhythmic, and more and more complicated. And eventually it kind of peaks, and then it goes back to the ground or the erlar again and finishes off with that. And the way you learn these things uh, is not by playing them, actually, with the big pipes. And if you know the Scottish pipes, they're very, very loud, if you've ever heard them in, 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 uh, in person. <coughs> they're wonderful outdoors at a little distance. Um, but um, they're quite, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to be, you know, in your living room learning with someone else playing and you're getting it wrong all the time. So what they do is they learn it by singing. And they sing the melodies in a language called Kantaracht, which is uh, Piper's language, where each word of the language refers to a different note or a different uh, embellishment on that note. It's all very particular. And um, so, uh, anyway, this um, Kantaracht is uh, what I'm going to sing a little bit of tonight. I'm not going to sing you a whole Pibracht, but I'm just going to sing uh, the Erlar of one. And this one in particular is. Uh, called Cronan uh, Chailach Savendrik, which means uh, the lullaby of the old woman of Ben Brick. Ben Brick is a place. And uh, supposedly, this refers to an ancient deer goddess. And so it, my, my theory is, given the name and also the unusual nature of this particular Pibracht, is that it may have predated the form of Pibracht altogether and was translated into a Pibracht somewhere along the line. And God knows how, long, uh, how old it is. Could be a thousand years old, maybe a lot older. Uh, and so I'm um, going to sing this bit of this and um, <clears throat> in the contract. I'm going to have you sing a drone to uh, kind of accompany it, as it were. And that drone is going to be this note right here. Oh, so um, <clears throat> it's going to go on for a little while. So take a big, deep breath. You can't breathe while you're doing this. It'll ruin it completely if you do. So, um, uh, and don't be shy. Uh, just, you know, give it to what you got. So this is what we're going to do. Oh. Keep it going. We're not going anywhere. Hey, 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 hey,